Hello, everybody. And if you're interested in recycling, skips, waste, anything like that, you are in the right place. And today I am going to talk to you about single stream recycling. And if you should have a picking line put in and things like that, there's some basic information for you for you to have a, have a listen to. So basically, a single stream picking line would be a line, or it doesn't have to be a picking line, it could be people picking off the floor, but it would basically be skips and lorries with mixed loads. So it's a single mixed load coming into a transfer station or a recycling centre. And then from there, the material is sorted by hand off the floor or through a picking station. And then I'm going to talk to you about why picking stations and by hand have the pros and cons. So you'll get a load of waste, it'll come in and it will be mixed from a job, a single stream of waste. I actually prefer a single stream because then you can process it, put it through your picking line and it keeps it clean. The other way of doing it, what a lot of people do now is to put a skip on site, one for wood, one for general and things like that. And the problem is if you're tipping that at a second different place, so let's say for instance, you take it to your local wood recycler, you get it there and there's a load of rubbish on the bottom of it. You've got to reload it, bring it back, then you've got to have an argument with your customer about it's got a load of rubbish in it. So it can cause problems down the line. I personally prefer a single stream. It comes in from a skip. We tip it out. It goes onto the floor. And then if we're using the picking line, it'll go through the picking line. Or if it's just a skip, what's mainly one type of material, we'll just pick it off the floor or use a small grab. The only problem and downside of picking off the floor is obviously you've got workmen in areas where machines are working. So you've got to be very aware of that. Make sure your lads have got the covered in Arvis clothing and stuff like that. And also put some procedures in place so your digger or your loading shovel don't go into that area while they're working. Easier said than done because you tell people to do stuff and they don't listen. But put the procedures in place and that is obviously what you need to do. So if we're going to talk about picking lines, a lot of people think about getting a picking line. Well, I can tell you there's, from somebody who's had one, there's pros and cons. So we're going to talk about single stream material here. So it's mixed one skip with a single type of material. The material will come in and the problem that we have in the UK is that we are a very wet and damp country sounds stupid but that's the type of country we are so we get a lot of compost decompose things you put rubbish outside it gets wet it starts rotting and and so on so when we put our material we need to put it into a feeder hopper on a picking line so you get a nice even spread of material it'll go up through the belt and then through a trommel the problem is in this country our trommel fans or soil or whatever have a lot of organic matter in it, which makes it difficult to get rid of. That is the biggest problem in this country, is trommel fans. Let me tell you, if you get a trommel, I promise you, the first thing the environment agency will ask you is, where do your trommel fans go? And have you gotten tested? And are they hazardous? And have they got the right LOI and everything else? That is the big problem in this country, is trommel fans. I will do a separate video on that. When I was on holiday in Spain, I looked at what they did and they had a trommel and they was getting the dust out of it and their trommel fans don't look anything like ours. It's totally different, even though it's from similar waste. So they have a lot of bricks and rubble and everything else. They don't have as much organic material, um, you know, such as wood and stuff like that, that we do. They use a lot less. So when they're putting their material through a trommel, it was mainly just looked like brick dust. But going back onto the single stream recycling. So from there... You will have a trommel that will take out the small material, usually 20 mil and below. From there, most people will have a 100 mil mesh in the trommel. So that's anything this sort of size or below. Then this material in the UK will contain a mixture of everything. So the 20 mil holes, the little tiny holes will be the trommel fans, which look like, look like soil. If you're taking a lot of material, which is from households and things like that, that have a lot of food in it, a lot of food waste and stuff like that. So potential for composting, maybe. 
but from a skip which is from a building site for instance the problem is is with trommel fans the small stuff is that one tin of paint will fully contaminate 20 tons of decent soil that's the problem that's that's again we'll do a separate video on that but that is the problem your trommel fans when you start putting things through trommels which is the rotating drum completely stink of you know different things thinners pain whatever anything that's gone through that drum and broken up and will find its way into the first set of holes any liquids the second holes again what i was just saying some of this sort of size and that will contain little pieces of wood insulation fiberglass you know bricks stuff like that that needs separate processing but the once this material has gone through a picking line then it will go onto some sort of sorting table which this sorting table usually contains a dozen men half a dozen men and they will manually pick through the waste and sort out each individual item into its corresponding area usually the picking lines are up in the air and then they drop the material down it'll fall down onto the floor and then it will be collected in some sort of skip or a machine will get it the only problem that I've had is when you're throwing it down the picking line, things can go down and they cross into each other's bays and you get a little bit of cross-contamination. So you've got to watch out for that. Then there'll be some kind of magnet to pull all your steel off. And that's that's the basic of single stream recycling. It's collected from the, from the building site or from the side of the road. And let's go back to the trommel fans cleaning. So this is the problem with single stream recycling. This is the big problem. The trommel fans, so you get anything that comes out of a trommel, trommel's a rotating drum, and anything that comes out of that trommel is a nightmare to separate. So you imagine every everything this size gets all mixed together, sawdust, nails, everything, it's a real, real pain in the backside to sort out. The bigger holes in the trommel, that material is also quite labour intensive to sort, so you will do it over some sort of blower. These blowers will take out all the light material and you'll be left with some kind of stone or usable aggregate if you don't use a trommel and you pick everything off the floor you don't make trommel fans so if you have a tin of paint you'll put the paint in with your waste or in with your, into your waste storage for your paint tins and it'll never come in contact with all the soil that goes through the trommel eliminating the trommel fans so my thoughts is going forward is that potentially down the road there won't be any place for using trommels in the waste industry especially as landfills close there's very 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 little landfills left that of every day that goes by they're getting fuller and fuller and fuller and there's less and less room so the time will come where there basically is no more landfills so what will we do with that material well it will go through some sort of wash plant i would have thought where the water is contained so as the wash the aggregate the water will keep in one place and then you'll just end up with a contaminated water and the sand and things like that will be removed you can remove sand from it again i'll do this in a different video but i hope that gives you a good basic understanding of what single stream recycling is because people use these terms and it'll give you an idea of what things are and i'll do a couple of videos later on in the year about picking lines and different things like that and that will give you more of an idea if you're thinking about getting a picking line so i will see you soon bye